Today we're talking about my sleeping bag testing of 2023. Which one should you get? What's going on guys, this is Burrs, and today I'm gonna to tell you about the testing I'm doing in 2023 with sleeping bags. You've seen me do it in the past. I had lots of videos, and I'll put those down below, of my testing of Sierra Designs, North Face, Valantre, um, what's the other one, Vaude, Eddie Bauer, Sierra Designs, did I mention that already? Maybe I did. <laughs> Uh, lots of different sleeping bags I've tested in the past. Basically taking a thermometer in the bag with me and testing it out through half an hour or longer of testing. So I'm excited to use Bluetooth thermometers this year. Uh, in the past I just used like when you're using the kitchen with a cable and just kind of let it sit here with the wire inside. And uh, at another point I used a um, like a wireless one. It was real big. Um, what I noticed was now that I'm doing this almost like eight years later, there's new technology, miraculously. But I did some testing the other day, and there's a little hole right here where the air goes in to get the temperature. And what I realized was, when I would just put this on my chest like I normally would, the bag would sit on it, and then the air on the inside of the bag never really got to there to give me an accurate uh, reading. So I did this test the other day, I thought I had it dialed in, I didn't, I had to make Luckily, I was an assistant research scientist at one point in my life. I had to make a little contraption here to offset, you know, to set back the thermometer. And then when I have this, which has this inside of it, this is just inlaid into here, another one of these. When I set this on my chest now, I have, you know, the bag kind of come up over and air circulates into the actual testing uh, system. So, got that solved. Now I got my method down, and what is my method? Well, I go outside for five minutes and I just kind of sit there, stand there, whatever. I'll unzip the bag, you know, open it up, let that sit there for five minutes, and just chill off. I'm not doing the test directly from my house. I'm not just walking out there with a sleeping bag. Uh, by doing this, the bag gets down below 40 degrees by the time that I get into it. Um, I get pretty cold, depending on the temperature outside. <laughs> The 20s isn't a big deal, but when you start getting the teens and the 10s, just standing out there with not the proper attire for uh, just standing out in the weather, it can get cold, but uh, it's all for science. So after five minutes of just standing out there, I get in the bag, I'll have this sit here, and I just sit there in the bag for half an hour and see where the temperature takes us. Uh, you'll see interesting results uh, from sometimes, you'll be amazed that some really expensive bags, at least compared to you know the past when I've done this, some really expensive bags don't perform well, and sometimes some really cheap bags perform well, uh, vice versa. So, I have a lot of different bags this year to test. Some really interesting, some really cool ones. Um, I got some from the past that I want to retest because I have a new method. So even though I did that in the past, I want to use the same calibrated equipment and do the exact same test with the bags I still have from you know eight years ago. Uh, and see what the results are. Some of these bags are still for sale, like the Valentre Swing 900, Swing 700. This Eddie Bauer Igniter is still for sale. Uh, Eddie Bauer Karakorum. I have a 20 degree and a zero degree. Um, so there's definitely bags that are still out there, but there's some that I'm adding into this test. So Thermarest Parsec Zero is one of those. I have a Sierra Designs Cloud 20. I have a Mountain Hardware Phantom and a Mountain Hardware Bishop Pass Gore-Tex. Um, so these are some that we're going to bring into the test and get a feel for uh, weight, cost versus warmth. Um, some of these bags are, you know, reasonably priced. Some of these are very expensive. So you know, are you actually getting what you're paying for if you go a little more expensive? You might not really get that much more performance as far as warmth, or you might realize that it says it's a zero degree bag but it really doesn't do well below 15. Whereas you might have another zero degree bag that does well down to eight. You know, whatever those differences are, doing tests like this and going out and using them, um, I could go out and use it and say, oh yeah, this one worked really well, but showing the data with a thermometer on the inside of the bag and doing the exact same test for every bag, you definitely can show through data which one's better and which one's worse when it comes to real life performance. For instance, this Valentre bag right here. I've said this numerous times. This bag is awesome. I love this bag, it's one of my favorites. And the thing that you'll notice is, 
with this, when you pull these straps right here, the inside baffle that goes across your chest also compresses down. When I say compresses down, I mean it gets a little bit smaller because a lot of bags like the Eddie Bauer Karakorum and this one right here, the baffle just sits there and it does nothing. You can get this tighter, but this does not get tighter as well to kind of keep out the cold. So one like this, you can very much feel a difference when it comes to this baffle on the inside and how much this compresses down to get tighter against you. So you don't want to get it like too tight, but you can get it to where the air is not coming in as much. Whereas a non-adjustable baffle, if it's not designed right, then you're really going to let some cold air in and it's not going to be a great sleeping bag. Case in point, Eddie Bauer igniter. Not adjustable, lets a lot of air in, and it says it's a 22 degree bag, or it says it's a 20 degree bag. This is more like a 35, 40 degree bag. But we'll get to testing and show you exactly through data what that looks like. As far as what I'm gonna be wearing for this test, I'm gonna be wearing the exact same thing for each test. To get a repeatable and um, equal outcome, you need to do the exact same thing for every single test. So I'm gonna be wearing the same clothing and I'm gonna be using the exact same foam pad and uh, blow up insulation pad. So probably about a, a 5R pad and then a thin uh, foam pad below it. So stay tuned, I'm really excited to do this. I love going and doing uh, tests and I love seeing the different data because data doesn't lie. So. You know, you could have a really expensive bag and it performs horribly and you'd like to know that before you spend all that money on it, right? So, uh, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and let me know and stay tuned. Until next time, later.